Which retirement accounts should you be funding first? Let's talk about it. Hello, everybody. Joe Warby coming at you. And today, the government offers you a myriad of choices when it comes to saving for your retirement. But which account should you be funding first? Which account should you be looking at second? Which account should you be avoiding altogether? That's the topic of our discussion today. And I hear this from a lot of people. Should I be putting the money in my own IRA? Should I be putting the money in the 401k at my company? Does an HSA make sense? Today, I'm going to reveal the best sequence when it comes to investing for your retirement. Let's start with the easiest, and that is your 401k. If you are working for a company and they offer a 401k and they also offer a company match, then this has to be the first place you should be investing your dollars for retirement. Why? Because this is free money. If your company is offering a 100% match up to 3%, this could mean an extra few hundred thousand dollars in your retirement account absolutely free. All you have to do is start putting your money there. So right now, check into your 401k at your company and see if they offer a match. If they do, you should immediately begin contributing up to that match. So if it says that they're going to match 100% up to 3% and 50% up to 5%, that means that if you put away 5%, they're going to put away 4%, and that can mean a lot of extra money for free into your retirement account. Now, once you've done that, your next best place to invest would be in your own IRA or Roth IRA. Now, if you've been a member of my channel for a while, you know I'm going to say the Roth IRA. And there's a myriad of reasons why you should be putting your money in a Roth IRA. And that allows you to put away $6,500 a year if you're under 50 and $7,500 a year if you're over 50. And the best way to do that is dollar cost average each and every month. Works out to be about $540 a month if you're under 50 and around $612 a month if you're over 50 in order to maximize the contributions into your Roth IRA annually. Now, if you've hit the match on your 401k and you've contributed up to the max on your Roth IRA, the next best place to look would be an HSA. That's a health savings account and that's only available to you if you have a high deductible health insurance plan, which unfortunately the majority of Americans have. Now this allows the individual to save up to $3,850 a year and a family to save up to $7,750 a year. But there's a trick to this. I don't want you to use this money to pay for your ongoing health needs today. You want to save these dollars, if you can, for retirement. Because even though you'll have Medicare, there will be out-of-pocket expenses that you'll have to pay in retirement. And if you save for 30 years, an individual would be able to add an extra $250,000 at a 5% return, and a family could add an extra half a million dollars into their HSA for their retirement. That's an extra half a million dollars you get to use to pay for your medical expenses when you retire. And all of that money goes in pre-tax, which means you get a write-off on it today. It grows tax deferred. And if you use it for qualified medical expenses, it comes out 100% tax-free. One of the greatest places to save for retirement. So you've maxed out your 401k, you've maxed out your Roth IRA, and you've been able to max out your HSA. Well, then you want to go back to your 401k, and if you're under 50, you can put away up to $22,500. If you're over 50, that's up to $30,000 a year. And if you've been able to do this, if you've been able to max out your 401k, max out your Roth IRA, and max out your HSA, you've saved up to $45,000 a year. So I know a lot of you out there will not be able to do this, but just follow these simple guidelines to get the most out of your retirement savings. If you like videos like this, make sure you check out some of my other videos, especially where I talk about how much money you could save simply by getting the match at work. Leave a comment down below, subscribe for future videos, and as always, I'll see you next time.